First up is Phoenix Gordon, a student in our Firefighting Technologies Certificate and a recipient of the JIB General, General Bursary. Thank you very much for the introduction. I prepared a few words tonight. So as you now know, I'm Phoenix Gordon. I was in the Firefighting Technologies Certification Program. I'm currently finishing it up. I've just got to do a few online courses and I'll have my full credits. So ladies and gentlemen, it is my deepest honor to have been brought here today and given the opportunity to share my appreciation that of my fellow students and the JI itself with all of you for your kindness and generosity. The aid you provide goes beyond the monetary. You're helping aspiring students to take steps forward, leading toward our goals and realizing our dreams by training and developing skills in exciting and community-oriented fields provided here at the Justice Institute of British Columbia. I personally cannot thank you enough. The help that I received was what carried me beyond the dividing line between beginning my career or remaining stuck where I was. I'd been badly injured in a car accident last year. It'll actually be a year to date tomorrow morning. I was relegated to my bed in such pain that I could hardly move, and when I did manage to get up, I'd often get so dizzy that I'd end up laying down all over again. Being stuck in such a completely life-encompassing way led me to reevaluate where my life was going. What I'd accomplished and given back to the world felt meaningless. There wasn't really anything there as of yet. <clears throat> it was at that low that I rediscovered my goals, though. I found the ambition and the passion that I'd nearly forgotten over the years. I remembered that I'd wanted to join the fire service because of my uncle Rob Hall and all the works that he did and the way that they inspired me. So I pulled myself together. I reached out and with the help of kinesiologists, doctors and physiotherapists, I rebuilt myself from the ground up. I went from barely being able to lift my own head to running the CPAT by late December. And being physically ready, to take on the intense training provided at the Maple Ridge campus for the Firefighting Technology Certification Program. I regained my focus and put everything I had towards starting my life how I'd always wanted it to be. But all of that ambition would have amounted to nothing had I not been able to afford my tuition, the cost of transit, food, rent. And it was you, people like you, the generosity that you show, that carried me to my course. I realized that as tuition was drawing near, <laughs> I was running out of options. My savings were practically dried up. I hadn't been able to work enough to make much difference due to my injuries. My family had helped all they could, but even with student loans, I was coming up short. So I looked at what I could do and I reached out to the financial aid department and Gail Anderson and Scott Ostertag were absolutely amazing. Scott, if you're here, I'm sure you're somewhere in the crowd. <laughs> yeah, with their help, I found out about the financial aid I could receive from the grants and bursaries provided by the JI and you. So I wound up applying for the general student bursary and I found out that I would be able to receive $1,000, which was half of what I needed in order to pay for the course. It left me shy by $1,000, and on the last day before the deadline, I spent the night in almost a panic, calling family members for the hundredth time, double-checking credit and bank balances, pleading, praying, and looking at the rules for the lottery. <laughs> But it was the generosity of the JI donors that saved me in the end, when the next morning I was awarded the full sum of $2,000, which covered my tuition in a desperate hour. I couldn't have been happier. I was over the moon. I chose the fire service so I could have a positive impact on the lives that I touched, so that I could be a part of a team that keeps people from losing their chance at leading the lives they deserve. I'd been inspired by my uncle, Rob Hall, his work to see that the colorectal cancer was treated as an occupational hazard had a huge impact on the fire services responders. And the fact that one man was able to do so much for so many 
was what really pushed me to try and do the same. Seeing over a thousand members of the fire service march at his funeral showed me what it means to be a part of a community that gives back as well. I want to help others to have the opportunity to lead the lives that they deserve. And the people I most respect and am most inspired by are those that want to give others that opportunity too. And you were the ones that gave it to me. So I cannot thank you enough, but from the bottom of my heart, thank you. <laughs>